Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos special edition outdoor product review. Now, why are we doing an outdoor product review today? Because I have a product that only works outdoors. It's the Bouge RV 180 watt solar panel. It's kind of big, but it's really not that heavy. What's so special about this 180 watt panel? Let's find out. So let's give you an idea how big these are. So length, we have 58 and a quarter by about 26 and three eighths. And it's a typical inch and a half thickness that all these glass panels are. I think it's pretty much identical to the 170 when it comes to weight. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between the 180 watt panel, which is on sale now, and the 170 watt panel that they no longer make. Because I know many of you bought the 170 panels and wanna know what the difference is. And here are the specifications for the older 170 watt panel. Notice the open circuit voltage is 22 and a half volts. And then for the 180 watt panel, it's up to 23.8 volts. So why did I bring that up? That's a very small voltage difference between the two panels. Originally, you could run three 170 watt panels in series on a Blue Eddy EB240. But since the 180 watt version has slightly more voltage, you can no longer put three in series because the upper limit on the Blue Eddy EB240 is around 65 volts plus or minus a volt or two. I usually say 65. My testing showed my unit was 67 volts, but I've actually heard some people, they tried to put three 170 watt panels in series and they actually would over volt and trip the over voltage error. And I asked Blue Eddy about this and they told me, well, there's a 2% tolerance on the voltage input. So it could be plus or minus 2%. So now I say it's 65 volts is the maximum input for the 240. And that means you can't put three of these 180 watt panels in series anymore. So what you can do is you can put two in series. And that's gonna get you somewhere around 300 watts of charging on a typical day. Now if you wanna max out the 500 watts, what you're gonna have to do is what's called series parallel. And I showed this in prior videos. In fact, I think I showed it on the EB240 video. So you can go back and watch those videos. But what you can do is you can take two panels, put them in series, buy another two panels and put those two in series, and then hook the, both of those two groups in parallel with each other. And what that will do is that will max out the wattage on the Blue Eddy. It'll also max out the amps and still keep you in a safe range for the voltage so you won't accidentally overvolt. Here we have the Bouge RV 180 watt panel. Yes, the sun is that far down in the sky that I do have to angle it that strongly but let's see how many watts we're getting. Now, the reason why I'm doing testing today is because the sky is perfectly clear. Now, I did come out kind of late, so that's where the sun is in the sky. We are about an hour from sunset, so let's go ahead and see what kind of power we're getting. Hopefully you can read that. It says 143 watts. I did have it up to, oh, there we go, 144. I did have it up to 145 before I hit the record button, but that's actually pretty good. 145 watts out of 180 with the sun that low in the sky. You can see here, we're actually pulling almost eight amps from the panel and it brings the voltage down to 18. That's typical after you have the panel under full load. As you can see, give it another 10 minutes and the shade from that tree is gonna be on this panel. So next, let's go ahead and do the Jackery test. I have the Jackery 300, which has an MPPT controller in it and actually can charge from one of these panels pretty much at its max rate. So let's see with as late as it is in the afternoon, how many watts can we pump into that 300? So if you can read that, it says 116 watts. That's probably pretty close to the maximum that the Jackery 300 can take. So what I have set up here is the Blue Eddy EB150. It's the 1500 watt Blue Eddy. The reason why I'm using this is because it's not gonna break my back to move it, and it accepts up to 500 watts of solar. So let's see what we're getting. Now remember, this is about an hour before sunset. We're not gonna expect maximum solar numbers here. Not sure if you can read that at all. It says 142 watts. Now that's impressive for this late in the afternoon. Greetings, welcome back. It's actually a week and a snowstorm later. We got blue skies again with some haze. You can see some of the haze on the horizon here. But this should be a much better result today. I'm gonna whip out the Bouge RV 180 watt panel, throw it out here with the Blue Eddy. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. It's actually significantly earlier than the last test I was doing, which is near sunset. Let's see if we can get a little bit better than 140, 145 watts. Yeah, 173, 174 watts. So there you have it, 174 watts out of 180 watt panel. 
That is fantastic. And yes, that's actually snow right there. So I can already anticipate a question I'm gonna get asked a lot. What are these panels gonna work for? You can run one of them for pretty much every Jackery product out there because Jackery products will work up to 30 volts and even the Jackery Explorer 1000, you can't put any solar panels in series. They have to be in parallel. But you can buy one of these Bouge RV panels, charge it at its maximum rate. Bouge RV panels are a lot cheaper than the Jackery panels. Of course, these are bigger and heavier. As for Blue Eddy products, you could run two of these in series for 350 watts of charging. That's pretty good. Now you can run four of them in series parallel. I have a video on how to do that. That'll get you the maximum rate on any Blue Eddy EB150 or EB240. As for the Blue Eddy AC200 and AC200P, which charge exactly the same, their voltage range is from 35 volts to 150 volts. You can run six of these in series and easily max out the 700 watts. So your best bet with the AC200 and AC200P products is to run six of these in series and you will get somewhere around 900 watts coming into the Blue Eddy, which can handle 700. Now you're not gonna hurt it by putting more power into it than what it can take because it self limits to 700 watts as long as you keep it under the 150 volts. And as for new products like the Leoc, the Leoc can only handle one solar panel. So you could plug a single 180 watt Bouge RV panel into it. You could do two or three panels, but you gotta run them in parallel, which means you need branch connectors and you need to set them up in a parallel configuration in order for the Leoc to handle it. And Leoc can only do 300 watts of solar. As for all the other little power stations like the AC50S and smaller Jackeries and pretty much everything else I've reviewed, you're only gonna be able to run one of these panels, sometimes two of them in parallel, but for the most part, you're only gonna be able to run one of these panels. Hopefully this information helped you out. If you're looking for solar panels that are gonna last you a very long time, Bouge RV is pretty good bang for the buck. So what do I like about the Bouge RV 180 watt? Well, they packed an extra 10 watts in to the same package and weight as a 170 watt version. So this is actually an upgrade. What I also like is that it's great bang for the buck. You can get this direct off of the Bouge RV website using the link below and my code knocks a whole bunch of money off of this. And the more of them you buy, the bigger the discount you get. I think they have a discount for two panels and for four panels on top of the Hobo Tech code. Now, I don't remember the exact price because it has changed a little bit because of Black Friday. But typically, with my code, these are under 150 bucks a piece. That means you're getting 180 watts for under 150 bucks. Now, you have to remember, these are 25-year panels. So they're designed to be out in the weather, heat, cold, hail, rain, snow, doesn't matter, for 25 years before they degrade to the point where they become kind of useless. And as we all know, solar changes quite a bit. So I would expect in five or 10 years, most people are gonna replace these panels anyway, but it doesn't mean they're useless. You can throw them on your shed, throw them on something else. There's always uses for solar panels like charging solar generators. These aren't just for putting on top of your rig or on top of your house or shed or whatever. You can power solar generators with these. You can power your camper. Just because these are rigid glass panels doesn't mean you can't use them for solar generators. Of course you can. Almost every solar generator is gonna support these. Now there are some that may not support this panel, but most of the ones that I review, the Jackeries, the Blue Eddies, EcoFlow, they're all gonna support at least one of these panels to charge their products. Now, this may not be the most easy solution to deal with, but like I said, these panels are gonna last you a very, very long time to the point where you'll end up replacing them anyway because there'll be something bigger and better in five to 10 years. But if you wanna hard mount something on top of your rig, this is the way to go. Now these are not much bigger than 100 watt panels. A few inches in both dimensions and that's about it. So I think most people, if you could fit 100 watts on your rig, you could probably put these panels in place of it and get almost double the power. Now, of course, you're gonna to need to measure your roof and figure all that out before you buy a bunch of these and put them up there, but did include the measurements. And these are definitely easy enough for one person to handle. They're not too heavy. Unlike some of the big residential panels, which are like 250, 300 watts, usually a normal person can't pick those up and put them on the roof of anything by themselves. They usually have to have two people help you do it. But this, for you soloers, you can do this one by yourself. At least most people can. So what don't I like about the Bouge RV panels? Well, probably just the size, the fact that they can't shrink this down to a postage stamp yet. I mean, I'd like to be able to cover my entire body in solar panels and be solar man, but that's gonna be a quite a few years in the future. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up there. That's probably the only real complaint I have about these panels is the size. 
Their power output's great, their efficiency's great, their longevity is great. I've actually had Bouge RV panels now for two years. I haven't had a single failure. Even their flex panels still work and I beat the crap out of it. And I had the 170 watt version of these up all summer long, running in the heat, 110 degrees in Tucson. They were powering a window air conditioner in my van. So thanks to Bouge RV, I didn't die in the summer heat in the desert. I did survive and I made it up here to the mountains where I don't have to deal with that anymore. So if you're interested in the Bouge RV 180 watt panels, they are running a special right now. So use the link below, go to their website, use my code, you'll knock a bunch of money off this. And if you're lucky, it'll even be a better price because of the current Black Friday Cyber Monday deal they got going on. So there's one other thing Bouge RV wanted me to show you guys as part of this video. Now they sent me two solar panels. Now I didn't see any need to actually hook them both up and put them both in series or parallel, but there's a special deal and I have special codes on these as well. If you do need to hook up multiple panels in parallel, they do sell the Y branch adapters and I have a code for this. And if you need the extension cables, Bouge RV's got you hooked up too. This is an MC4 cable for basically running this into your rig. One side has the MC4s that go into the branch cables, or if you're running series, you don't need those. And the other side is stripped off. If you don't know if you could see that. It's stripped off on that side, which allows you to either hook it to a solar controller, or they also have make your own cable kit. So this comes with the crimper, to make your own MC4 cables. And it comes with the tools to allow you to hook and unhook the cables. And this allows you to twist the little plastic caps on. And speaking of MC4 connectors, they have you loaded. Each one of these pockets has two MC4 connectors. So this kit is perfect if you're building your own rig. If you're doing a DIY installation on a shed or on your RV or your trailer or whatever, you can get this kit. And I do have a discount code below in the description. It allows you to get this kit pretty darn cheap. So it has everything you need with this cable to run your solar installation. So this takes care of the panels, the cabling, and the connections. Then all you need to do is add your own solar controller if you're not charging a solar generator. And batteries if you're not using a solar generator. And this kit's pretty awesome. This works up to 10 AWG or 10 gauge cable, solar cable. So it should be fine for all of your needs. But wait, there's more. Bouge RV has decided for viewers of Hobotech and viewers of Hobotech only to give away 100 of these tools. Now these tools can be used for all kinds of stuff. And remember, it's the first 100 people who click that link and put in the code that gets this delivered to them for free. So let me demonstrate how this works. So here you have your two MC4 connectors that you're going to put on a cable. Well, screw this piece off. And then you would insert the 10 gauge cable into that. And you put this cap on. So putting this cap on can be a little bit tricky. You can actually use this like this, and it allows you to turn the cap on and off. So you can tighten it or loosen it. Say one of these break, these sometimes do break and you want to replace them. You can use this to take the cap back off and then you can use the cap, use the same tool to put the cap back on. It also has this hole right here, which allows you to twist this part. So see, you can twist this part on and off with the same tool. Now these prongs are meant for when you have these hooked together. So anybody who's worked with MC4 understands just how difficult these things are, once you get them put together, they're not really designed to come apart easily. They can either use these front prongs or these rear prongs, hook that together, and now it comes right apart. So and you can use, I'll push that all the way together again, demonstrate you here at click, and then allows you to take it apart easily. So if you have arthritis in your hands and you have a hard time getting this apart, now usually what I do is I just squeeze this and pull it apart. But if you have arthritis in your fingers or any kind of condition it makes it hard for you to grip or squeeze, one of these tools are gonna be invaluable if you're boondocking and you need to hook these solar panels up and take them apart constantly. One of these tools allows you to do it. Now I'm doing it with two hands, but it allows you to take it apart very easily. So. These tools are usually about five bucks, but it's pretty cool of Bouge RV to just give them away free to the first hundred viewers. So don't forget the links and the code in the description if you're interested in the MC4 cabling, the branch adapters, or this really cool MC4 builder's kit. 
This allows you to make your own MC4 cables as long or as short as you want. Now this kit is very, very handy if you're doing a DIY build. And don't forget the link below and the code to get your free MC4 connector tool. That's only gonna be for the first 100 people. After 100 people, it's gone. Don't ask about it in the comments if you can't get it. That old saying is the early bird gets the MC4 connector. Or wait, I think the early bird gets the Sojin. Dang, I can't even remember that phrase. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. I didn't really expect to do this today, but hey, it's a clear day, day before Thanksgiving. Got the turkey thawing out. Man, turkey. Hmm. I had turkey in a long time. Hey, Thor, are you catching the birdies? Are you being a bad kitty? Yeah, you're a bad kitty. You're always chasing the poor birdies. RV Golf Guy, Z Fox Fighter, Jack Smith.